Hey, I'm Joe DiGiulio with another quick lesson from Jerry's. This lesson today is going to be on surface tension breaker, MM3. What it is, it's a dispersant. You're going to use this actually to uh, actually create a beautiful field of wash on a watercolor paper or raw canvas. It has to be a surface that can absorb. What we want to do is make a mixture, and I've already pre-done that. You use 5 to 10 percent of the surface tension breaker to water. 90 percent water, 10 percent surface tension breaker. Now I'm going to go and spray this area, get a little wash down of it, and pre-treat the paper with this, okay? Let's see what we got. I'll do a little bit with this one. Work it in. It's just going to be able to let that color fall in place so much easier to create a beautiful, even field. Now you see that when I stroke it, if I really agitate it, I can create bubbles. You don't want that. So you give it a nice, relaxed stroke, and that allows that paper to get set up. Now what I'm going to do is, let me take another brush, and just use plain water here. I'm using a flow formula, and again, the flow formula is probably best suited for doing these washes. The structure formula is going to be more for if I'm using impastos or a bulk painting. This is going to be actually acrylic wash that's going to actually have the same qualities as a watercolor. So I'm just going to take this using water to create this wash over here. And you see I get this streakiness, okay? I want to have an even field of color. Because I pre-treated this area over here, work it in, now take some color, and look at that. Look at how it just kind of, I can scrub it right in there. If I want to add a little bit more, I can get some very interesting effects here. But it just evens out a beautiful, like if you wanted to do this beautiful sunset, you get the same kind of watercolor techniques and you're eliminating that splotching. Yes, it reduces the chroma of the color, but you're getting that watercolor kind of effect here instead of that straight on brilliant. So it's just giving you a watercolor effect with an acrylic. So you watercolorists who've never tried acrylics before, this is an absolute must medium to use for your techniques because what it's going to allow you to do is take some of that you know visual creative experience that you have from your watercolor and apply it to an acrylic format. Again, I love that I can go back in and do these really neat snowflake. It's sort of like I've seen this technique before when they've actually added some alcohol to it. But I'll just take a brush and slightly pull back over it. Beautiful uniform glow. Very much the characteristics of watercolor. You can't get this any other way. I've not seen this, this result with acrylics with any other medium except the surface tension breaker. So I suggest if you want to explore some watercolor techniques either on paper or on raw canvas, you want to try the surface tension breaker at 5 or 10 percent to your water's 90 percent. You'll get a fantastic blend. You'll find some experimental blotchiness that you just can't get any other way. Check it out, Surface Tension Breaker. I'm Joe DiGiulio. Thanks a lot. Come back and see me again.